Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from Cami Page Boutique. I'm Brooks Tannehill, and today I'm going to show you how I made this foil shapes with printed vinyl tumbler. As always, all the products I use will be listed in the description box below, and you may even find a coupon code or two that saves you some coin. Also, come join our exclusive Facebook group where you can take advantage of upcoming freebies and giveaways that you aren't going to want to miss. So without further hesitation, let's go ahead and get started. For this design, I had gotten a question in my Facebook group about whether or not you could use sublimation tumblers for just your traditional epoxy designs. So this is actually a 30 ounce straight no taper sublimation tumbler from AB Designs Co. And what I did is I just kind of held the vinyl up to the cup and I just decided just by eyeballing how far down I wanted the vinyl to cup. So I just marked the line, used my ruler, drew it across, and then just trimmed off the excess. Now this vinyl is from Peachy Olive Glitter. It is part of their Valentine's Day bundles and I absolutely love it, but I do feel like you could definitely use this every day. I just used my ultimate decal guide from Cami Page Boutique to mark a straight line on the tumbler and this is going to help me set myself up for success to get the vinyl straight onto the cup. So I just peel back the vinyl a little bit from the backing, cut off probably about an inch of the backing, and then I line that sticky section, so the section without the backing on it, with that straight line and make sure that it's really nicely adhered to the cup, that it's set up for success, and then everything is lined up. Now, especially for a striped vinyl like this, if it does get kind of wonky or out of sorts, you're going to notice it. So it's super important to get all of this lined up as straight as possible. But all I did is I just pulled up the backing from the vinyl and then I am just going to gently push the vinyl onto the cup and you can see how it just pushes off that paper backing and applies it perfectly to the tumbler. Now I do this because it really prevents a lot of bubbles. I get everything lined up nicely and then once the two ends meet I just come in with my exacto knife and make a straight line and remove any of the excess vinyl from the tumbler. Once we have the excess removed, I am going to use my vinyl trimmer from Cami Page Boutique with the half spacer option intact. So the reason why I like the half spacer is especially for these top rooms, it just removes just the right amount of that printed vinyl so that you can really have nice adhesion of your next coats of epoxy. So I use the half spacer, remove that vinyl, and now we're going to go in and protect the bottom edge of this printed vinyl with painter's tape. This is just from Amazon. It does the job. It's nothing spectacular, but this way we can just keep the paint and adhesive separate and not get anything on the printed vinyl that we don't want to. To apply the glitter, I'm going to be doing a paint and glitter glue combination. So the paint I'm using is Rosebuds in June from Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint and Artistry's Glitter Glue. But the reason why I love this paint is because it is a dupe for Rust-Oleum's Vintage Blush color. I know it looks a little bit lighter here, but when it dries, it is almost exact. So I love that I don't have to go outside and spray paint when it's cold and nasty, but it also gives me this beautiful color. So here I'm just using a flat brush. Don't feel like you have to use a flat brush. Use really whatever you have on hand. And I'm just going to put a healthy coat of this glue and paint mixture on the bottom of the cup. And you really do want to try and get it as even as possible because if you do have any kind of high or low spots, it will show. And then I'm going to come in with Swack from Peachy Allo Glitters. This was in one of the most recent Peachy palette boxes. And I'm usually not a huge fan of like the fines, but this one is beautiful. You really, really, really need it in your arsenal. But I'm just going to come in, apply the swack, and then immediately remove the tape so that way I don't have any wonkiness when I pull and it doesn't lift the glitter. But you can just see how perfect that combination is and I just absolutely love it. I let the glitter dry for about four hours and then I just come in with a chip brush to remove any of the excess glitter. And this prevents contamination from the glitter getting up at the top. Then I spray sealed that and I went in with about 20 milliliters of Artistry's one-to-one -one fast set, let that dry, and then it's time to start applying our foil shapes to the tumbler. Now it's time to apply the foil hearts to this tumbler. Now I know these can be daunting to a lot of people because the double-sided sticky sheets are kind of intimidating, but I promise you they are super easy to do and this is honestly one of my favorite methods for getting added detail to my tumblers. So I will list the SVG to these hearts down in the description below, but I just cut out the hearts using Artistry's shape tape and I use the fabric setting on my Cricut. It makes it so easy 
weed to weed, but I just will pull one of the hearts off of the shape tape. You can kind of see it to the left, apply it using tweezers. Then once I'm happy with the placement, I just remove that top paper, come in with this beautiful pink foil from Artistic Painting Studio and apply. You can see just how easy it is. There is no right or wrong for where to apply these hearts. I just kind of followed the whimsical pattern of this printed vinyl. And so just kind of added little hearts here and there to kind of play off of that. This is super easy and I think you guys will really like this method for applying little details to the tumbler. Again, there is no right or wrong for the placement, just whatever makes you happy. Just kind of lay them down, cover them with foil and lift and you will be so surprised how beautiful this really makes this full tumbler. And I really feel like this made the design and just kind of brought the entire look together. Once I'm happy of the placement of all the hearts, I am going to spray seal this first. So I just did two coats of Rust-Oleum clear gloss spray paints, let that fully dry between coats and then also before epoxy. And then I came in with probably about 30 milliliters, nah, I would say more like 20 milliliters of Artistry's one-to-one -one fast set, just to make sure that I sealed in all the foils and didn't take a chance of kind of removing any of that beautifulness, let that fully dry, and then it was time to pinstripe the bottom. I had gotten a lot of questions about how to get a perfectly pinstriped tumbler. So this is one of the ways that I do that. I just put a Sharpie into the pencil holder of the Ultimate Decal Guide, spin the cup, and you can see I get a perfect guide to use for my pinstriping. So this is double-sided tape. I believe it is the quarter or half inch. I'll have to check, but I'm just going to apply it using that guide that we just put on the tumbler. And this just makes it so easy to understand and know that I have straight lines. And then once I come to the end, I'm just going to push down the two sides really kind of hard just to make sure that I've got everything lined up. And then before I remove the tape, I'm just gonna come in with some alcohol on a paper towel. And you can see just how easy that comes off and then it's time to apply our foil. With this foil pinstriping, I like to remove just a little bit of the paper at a time. And the reason for this is it prevents as much contamination of the double-sided tape as possible. So I'm just gonna kinda come in, lift the paper just a little bit, apply the foil just where I have the adhesive exposed. And then I'm just gonna make sure that the foil is nice and adhered, and then I'm just going to pull it up. Now this double-sided tape is a little old, so it's not nearly as sticky as it used to be, but this stuff does work really well. Just take your time making sure that the foil is just pushed down onto the adhesive as much as possible and then just pull up. If there's any spots that don't stick just simply move to a different section on the foil and you'll get amazing coverage of the double-sided tape. So you're just going to make your way around the cup just pulling up more of that paper vacuum from the double-sided tape and it's just really nice added detail for the pinstriping. Now you can obviously use vinyl if you wanted to. I just really thought that the foil was a great way to bring in the design of the double-sided shapes that we added to the top of the printed vinyl so I couldn't help myself. I had to do it but I thought it really helps the whole design to come together and I think it's super cute for the design and a little bit different than what I typically do for pinstriping. Once I'm happy with the foil pinstriping, I am going to go in with a quick and super thin coat of Artistry's one-to-one -one facet just to make sure that I'm protecting the foil because it can be pretty delicate and you can get little kind of nicks and bumps in places. So I'm going to let that dry and then it's time to go in with our center pinstriping and then also our decal. For the center pin striping, I am using Orcal 651 from Vinyl Fun for Everyone. I cut this out at 0.125 inches tall by 11 inches wide, and I am just applying this in the center of the foil stripe like you see there. Now this is permanent vinyl, so this works wonderfully. It really adheres well. I really like using this for my decals because I typically do not have issues with it. So I am just going to go around and apply it in the center of my foil and then use my exacto knife to kind of trim off any excess that we have there. 
Now it is time for our decal. Now I went for more of a minimalist kind of decal here. All this says is love is all you need. And I cut out three different sections of this phrase and it's just one line. Um, I measured around the cup and the cup was about 10 and a quarter, so 10.25 inches wide. And I am just lining it up using that foil as a guide. Now, this is just kind of a whimsical font. So so it wasn't in a straight line so it was easy to apply like this but if you did decide to do more of a really kind of straight and aligned um, decal it might be easier to do this all at once but I am just going through and applying this to the cup and this again is the Oracle 651 from Vinyl Fun it's just black and I just thought it was a really nice little detail that really really finished off the whole look and I just love the way it turned out after this was applied, I went into a coat of epoxy using a epoxy additive from AB Designs Co that I will list down in the description below. Then I finished off everything with a final coat of about 20 milliliters of Artistry's regular formula and this baby was done. I really like the simplistic beauty of this tumbler and I think I'm gonna have to keep this one for myself because it just turned out just absolutely wonderful. I hope this tutorial inspires you and I can't wait to see what you create. If you have any questions about any of the steps or information, please feel free to reach out and I'll be more than happy to help. As always, thank you for watching. It really means a lot to me. If you like this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see future videos. You can also ring the bell so you're notified of all future cup making goodies. Thank you again. I love you guys. Bye.